Skull identification speedrun, ready, set, go. Pick up the tag, species name is covered up. Flip it over, it says Illinois, so something from North America. I think it could be a fish. To check, we count the number of bones in the skull. We have one at the top, one on the bottom, lots of teeth, but not enough to be a fish. Instead, let's look at that lower jaw. You see how it's made out of one strong bone? That means that this is a mammal. Take a look at that upper jaw. Anything interesting? You bet. See this gap in the eye socket right there? It's kind of like a hole. That means that this can't be a primate cow or camel. So instead, let's rearticulate this skull and see if we find anything interesting. See the location of this eye socket. It's in the back half of the skull, which eliminates coyotes, wolves, or any sort of weird dog. This could possibly be a manatee, a pig, or maybe even a seal to try to figure it out. Let's flip it forward. Look at these incisors. See how they kind of flare out like this? Whoosh. Honestly, that's pretty sus. So I'll guess the most common animal in the genus sus, which is sus domesticus, aka a domestic pig. Let's freaking go!